Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to create sticky navigations and elements in Figma using the prototyping feature. So without further ado, let's jump over to Figma and let me show you how easy it is to achieve these effects. Now, if you want to follow along, I left the link in the description. So make sure to click on that, download the files, and then you'll be able to create the same effects that I will be creating in this tutorial right now. So as you can see for this tutorial, I prepared two simple designs that have a couple of elements like cards and top navigations or side navigations and we are going to use these elements to learn how to prototype and how to make these elements sticky in our prototypes so let's start with the first design so I'm just gonna put this uh, here on the side and let's focus on the first design so the way it works the first thing you need to do is to go here on your outer layer in this case is like our frame and select how would you like this frame to behave and for that you go here to prototype you make sure you select the element so just go here to layers and just select uh, the outer frame and here where you see scroll behavior just tell Figma basically how you would like this frame to behave so in my case because I want this entire page to be scrollable I'm gonna click on vertical now the issue is that as you can see here you have a uh, kind of like a exclamation mark and the reason you see this is because this entire frame is larger than the content inside so what we need to do is to hit command on our keyboard and by clicking and holding down command and dragging this I would like this frame to be smaller this way all the content that it's inside this frame now is scrollable. So now if we go and play our prototype, you'll see that the content inside now is scrollable on the frame that we have created just now. So this is how you create this vertical scroll. Now, how do we fix elements in general? So if you go back, you will see that if I click on any of my elements that are inside here, you will see that I will have this panel behavior on the right side. And here, you will be able to select the position of the element inside this frame. So for example, on this one, on the top navigation, you will see that I have scroll with parent. That means that this one will be scrolling with my parent element. So I don't want that because I want this to be sticky. So for that, I'm just gonna go here to position and I'm gonna put fixed or stay in place. And if I go back to my prototype, I will see that now this will stay in place. It will not move. So this is kind of like the first behavior that you can achieve in your prototypes. Now, what about this side panel over here? Let's say that I would like this card to scroll while I'm scrolling through the website and just have this on the side all the time. Now for that, you have the other option because you only have like basically three options. The other option is basically sticky. So the sticky is telling Figma that when this top edge of this element reaches the top edge of the frame, then it will start scrolling with the frame. So now if I go to the prototype, you will see that if I start scrolling, as soon as this card touches the top of my frame, it will, st it will be sticky basically, it will become fixed as the one previously. But what about if you look now, you will see that it's a bit weird in the sense that this top navigation is kind of like covering my card. How do we actually give that padding so this card stays in place and it will have like a nice margin, right? That uh, you, so that you'll always be able to see it on the screen without covering the, the details or the card. For that, I don't know why Figma does this. I would have loved to have a different option, but we don't. The only option you have is to select this card. And as you can see here, I have this side wrapper and it's inside my scrolling uh, kind of like area. So the way you give the padding is you need to know how big your navigation is. So in our case is let's say 100 pixels because it was 99. So let's say this is 100 pixels. So if I want that padding, what I need to do is to kind of like click on command again and by clicking and dragging to give this card 
using this frame, the side wrapper, a padding of 100 pixels more than the actual card. So in this case, it's 241 pixels. So I will be dragging this to 341. And then if I want to give it an extra padding, 41, and if I want to give it an extra padding, then I will add, let's say, 24 pixels more than this. So that will be 365, I think. So yeah, now this is 365. So what I need to do is to put this here, like just to align it at the bottom, drag a, kind of like a line so I know where my card edge should be, and then just push this to the top until I reach the edge. And now, as you can see, this frame, it's bigger than the actual card. So when the frame will touch the top of the, the, the outer frame, then it will start scrolling with it. So in our case, if we go now to the prototype, you'll see that as soon as the outer edge of this card will touch the top part, it will start scrolling and then we will have that padding of 24 pixels that we wanted. And this is how you achieve this effect. Now, I know what you will be saying is like, oh, cool, but how would you be able to, for example, stop this card from scrolling at a certain point? And I would love to say that I got the answer for you, but unfortunately I don't because this feature is not supported in Figma and I tried literally everything I could to get this to work but unfortunately because we don't have this functionality right now we are not able to stop this card at any point so unfortunately we'll just need to get around this limitation for now okay so now let's move to our second design so if we look have a look at our second design what i've done now is i have this kind of like um menu here on the side that I would like to keep sticky. And then I would like to have this bar on top here to be sticky and the rest of the content just to scroll. Now, same as we did previously, the first thing that I need to do is to tell Figma what I would like from this frame. So make sure you select the outer frame and then go here to prototype, here select vertical. Again, you're gonna have the exact same issue because your Figma will be like, okay, fine, this whole thing will be scrollable, but the frame, the outer frame is larger than the actual content. So there's nothing to scroll in. So basically same thing as we did previously, just hold a command on your keyboard, click and drag this. And you can basically drag this to any point you want, but I will drag it to 1024 because that's kind of like the resolution for the desktop frame. So now if we look at it, if we go to our prototype, let me just play this again. So now, as you can see, if we look at this, now everything is scrollable. The issue is that this side menu is scrollable as well, is not fixed. So how do we fix it? Well, it's super easy. The first thing we need to do is to make this as large as our frame. This way, I will be able to tell Figma to stick this similar as I previously did to my menu over here, but this time this will be fixed on the side. Now, if we don't add anything to it, if we go to the prototype, you will see that the menu will still scroll, but this time it will be smaller. So you don't, you don't achieve anything by just making it smaller. So what you need to do is just click on it, make sure here where you have position, make sure that this is fixed, that means stay in place. And now if we look at our prototype, we will see that this is sticky and it's staying in its place and the rest of the content is fixed. Now, what do we do with the top navigation? How do we make this sticky? Well, exactly the same as we did previously, we're gonna select this element and we are going to select here from scrolling behavior for this element to be sticky. But here's the catch. If you look now at my canvas, you'll see that if I click on this element, I'm not gonna have that option. And that's because I have one more frame between me and the outer frame. So now, as you can see, you have the kind of like the desktop 
which is fixed and then you have the card wrappers and inside the card wrappers I have these stats so if I want to make these stats sticky what I need to do is to ungroup these so that now my elements are separate and are not inside another frame so now if we click on this you'll see that I have my position uh, kind of like option so now I can set this to stick to the top edge so now I can select fix and if I go back to my prototype I will see that this will stay in place now obviously you'll see that we have some issues here in the sense that I can see the content behind my uh, stats so to fix this all you need to do is to ju just go to your design hold down command on your keyboard drag this on top make sure that this is set to center make sure you have the content to fill remove any drop shadows that you haven't planned to put in but Figma just decided to add it and then go here to your prototype now you will see that these stats will stay on top and the content behind will not be visible and this is it these are kind of like the main techniques that you need to know to be able to create these effects in Figma for your designs or prototypes now I know it's not very complex and I hope Figma will bring more and more features as we move along because this is kind of like basic with very limited to what we can do but if you want to know how to create these sticky effects and sticky navigations this is all you need to do but what about if we want to create a side scroll how do we achieve that effect well it's exactly the same as we did with kind of like our prototype still now but you will need to have a frame inside this other frame so for example let's say that I want this first row of cards to be scrollable on the side so what I will do is I will just duplicate a couple of these cards and I will just drag this frame outside of my main frame so once I drag it I'm just gonna remove the auto layout because now I have the auto layout because if you have auto layout it will not work so if you have auto layout on your frame just make sure to remove it so after I put these cards like this I will remove my auto layout and again by holding command on my keyboard I'm just gonna click and drag this frame up to the edge of my well, basically like screen or outer frame once I have this I will just select here clip content and I will go to prototypes and I will say to Figma is like I want this frame that surrounds my cards to be horizontally like to be able to horizontally scroll and once I do that if I go to my prototype you will see that if I click and drag Figma says okay so that's your frame is up to this point and everything inside that frame should be scrollable so now I have this horizontal scrolling and that's how you achieve the horizontal scrolling so it's very very similar to what we've done previously so as a rule of thumb just select the outer layer of your elements and just tell Figma how you want those elements to behave and that's pretty much it and same thing as we did previously if I want one of these elements to be fixed for some reason I'm not sure why but if you want to you can just select the element inside that frame that you gave it the property of how to behave and select like, and go here to position and say like okay I would like this card to stay in place to be fixed instead of actually scrolling with the parent so if you go back here you will see that this card will just stay fixed and the other ones will move and basically that's it this is everything you need to know to be able to create these prototypes or these effects in Figma you literally have free settings for overflow which basically tells Figma how the elements inside a particular frame should behave and then you have the position which is fixed sticky or to scroll with your frame and that's it this is all you need to know now I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to hit that like button smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'm gonna see you in the next video pretty soon till then happy designing and uh, see you in the next video bye bye in Figma I'm gonna show you how you can stick your elements <laughs> stick it up your woohoo <laughs> how can you stick your elements up your woohoo uh, yeah